What's up, y'all? It's allergy actress Mary Beth Eversoll coming to you today because I want to talk about parties. Oh my gosh, that's really scary for people with allergies. Any party, anywhere in the world, it's like, ah! what's one of the best parties in the world that we talk about? It's the Super Bowl, the big game, y'all. It's the biggest. Thing. It's like the biggest broadcast in America for the year. Seriously, like I looked it up. It's like huge. And it's also the second most national food consumption day besides Thanksgiving. So, I mean, this thing's huge. And for those of us with allergies, showing up to a party where there's lots of food, but it's all like splayed beautifully on a, on a table, and it's all this stuff that you would love to eat, but you can't. Ugh. So, what do you do? Make sure that you take, you make the dip and then you put most of it in one container and you put a smaller container next to it with some dip in it and that's yours. Then you can go to your host and say, hey, can I put this in your fridge? It's mine just to be safe. Um, or you, I mean, if you don't want to bother your host, look, you just bring a like, cold bag, put your, put your dip in the cold bag, bring your own chips or whatever you want, the vegetables, whatever and then you're totally safe and everybody else gets to enjoy what you're eating too. This dip is really good. So it's gonna be like one of the most amazing things at the party. Let's get started. Ingredients. All right, y'all gotta get this in before we start the ingredients. Go Broncos. Yeah. All right, ingredients, here we go. So we've got garbanzo beans, um, also known as chickpeas, yeah. And you want to save the garbanzo bean juice for later. Uh, we'll be using it, or you can use water, but this makes it better. And then we've got roasted red peppers. Now, I made these yesterday, y'all, and here are some pictures of how I did it. Now, these are amazing. You can use canned roasted red peppers, but honestly, making them fresh, just take the extra time, it's so good. All right, next, uh, lemon juice, and then we have cayenne pepper, and they call for garlic cloves, uh, two garlic cloves, but I wanted to cut corners and cheat, so. <laughs> um, so I got already minced garlic. It's pretty much the same thing. It, there's a little bit more essence when you use the actual cloves, but whatever. Uh, okay, sea salt, tahini, olive oil, and I have chosen as my dipping apparatus brown rice tortillas that I will be cutting up and broiling to turn into chips. So that's the ingredients. Let's go ahead and make this dip. Okay, so the first thing you do is if you have garlic cloves, dump them in and uh, food process those. But since I already have minced garlic, I'm gonna just... Oh, that was really loud. Um, I'm going to just put them in. Uh, there's a half clove, half clove. Half a teaspoon is equivalent to one clove of garlic. So, I'm just gonna do that. And I kinda like garlic, so you can be generous with your, with your thing there. And not all cloves are made the same. Okay? There we go. And, oh, you okay. guys. Not paying attention. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Okay, so that did not come about like they got, so like the NFL was in the 1920s and the AFL came about in the 1960s and they like were really like against each other. And then they realized that they needed to merge so that they'd stop all the fighting. So they decided to merge the leagues in like 1967, I think was the first Super Bowl. Well, they didn't call it that. They wanted to call it the NFL AFL World Champion Series. But that was like a really stupid name. And so they were like, let's come up with something else to do. 
So jokingly, Lamar Hunt of the Chiefs was like, well, why don't we call it the Super Bowl? And the media picked it up, and they were like, yeah, Super Bowl! And it stuck, and uh, they officially named it that in the third Super Bowl in 1969, I think. Maybe 1970? Anyway, okay, so there's the close. You go like this. Okay, the mind's already minced, so, you know. Then you put in everything else. So instead of doing the little top thing, I'm going to do, let's dump it in. So you get uh, one and a half to two cups of chickpeas. Basically, just a 15 ounce can will suffice. That was really loud, I'm sorry. And then you get your roasted red peppers, three quarter cup, boom. And then, uh, and then you're gonna get your quarter cup of tahini. Tahini is uh, sesame seeds. That leads me to talk about hummus a little bit. Did you know that hummus just means chickpeas? So the hummus that we know here in this world, in America, is actually kind of like we consider it hummus by, I think it's hummus by tahina, is what it's called, it's in Arabic. Um, because that means chickpeas with tahini. And that's the hummus that we're more familiar with. Uh, that came about in like the 13th century in Egypt. That's crazy. Um, and honestly, the ingredients that go into hummus existed way before that. So they think that, that people were eating hummus like even way before that. But it was just like the first recorded recipe of hummus was in 13th century Cairo. Okay, so the tahini, you get your quarter cup. Uh, my tahini is runny like this, so I have to like mix it before I dump it. Um, and all it is, like I said, is, is ground up sesame seeds. And um, it's not very tasty by itself, I have to admit. But mixed into things, it's amazing. All right, there we go. So then you just dump that in. I like making sound effects. <laughs> um, uh, by the way, if y'all notice I'm a little worse today, it's because I had surgery a few weeks ago to help fix my voice. Because those car accidents I had a while ago, they, they messed up my voice. So I am fixing it. And it's just a little hoarse still, but we're getting there. Um, so then in goes the lemon juice. Uh, yeah. In goes the lemon juice. In goes the... Uh, chickpea liquid or water <clears throat> and uh, you want to go in goes the uh, cayenne pepper now you can use red roasted blah, 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 blah. you can use red pepper flakes um, also but I'm I like cayenne better and it's don't use too much oh my gosh like cayenne is hot you guys so don't don't put too much in there in fact I'm gonna do and even smaller. I was going to do a quarter of a teaspoon, but I'm going to do an eighth. You can do a quarter. That's fine. But I'm going to do an eighth because I'm not a huge fan of, like, super hot. There it goes. Um, plus, you're putting some... It's got garlic in it, so that's a little spicy. And, yeah. And then... Um, excuse me. And then you have a teaspoon of salt that goes in. Teaspoon. Okay. I have a lot of salt, y'all, so you don't really need to add any salt beyond that in there. I mean, unless you're a salt freak, and then go ahead, but, I mean, we're all trying to be healthy here, so. Okay, then, here comes the best part. for me to throw this fake football and catch it, we have made our dip. So, I put my football, I gotta put it back on my apron. Um, okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna make it super smooth, and, uh, oh, it smells good. And then, uh, here's what it looks like, y'all. Okay, um, and then you're gonna put it in a nice little bowl um, that's over here. And again, remember I said, if you're going to a party where there's non-allergenic people, make sure that you have a smaller bowl for yourself with the same dip, put it aside, and put it in your little cold bag, and then take the other dip, 
and give it to the masses because you have no idea what they're going to dip in that. Fingers, it could be like vegetables that were also dipped in ranch, you know, corn chips in my case, I can't do the corn chips. And we just don't like wheat crackers, you know, we just don't want the cross contamination. So better safe than sorry. Bam! There you go, guys. So take some olive oil and, uh, you know, just a little drizzle here. So like super light. I wish I had one of those little neck things that you drizzle instead of because I don't want to put too much. <laughs> okay, guys, first thing you do, uh, get tortillas of your choice. I have to do brown rice because I can't do wheat and I can't do corn. And, uh, oh, start your broiler. So if you broil <laughs> um, and you've got numbers for settings, do like four or five. Uh, if you've got high or low for a setting, do high. Or if you're like me, if you have no settings, just turn it on. Okay. On. And on. And then, I love that sound. I'm just going to do one to show you how it's done. What is done. Okay. So you grab a pizza thing. What's it called? Pizza. Pizza roller, I guess. Pizza slicer. Wah! And you slice it like a pizza. So however big you want the pieces or your chips to be. Um, I like fairly decent sized chips, so I'm going to be all wacky with it. Um, <laughs> like that. And then like that. And then maybe one like that. And maybe I'll like go through these because... Those are giant. There. There. Then you break it apart. Wah, 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 wah. And the broiler will have been on at this point for maybe like, I don't know, two, three minutes. You don't want to leave it on for too long because it gets really hot. And then you just take it, bam, pop it in the oven. I would go for, uh, make sure that your rack is is uh, close, close to the top, and then I would go for maybe, uh, go for like two minutes, check it, if they're starting to uh, look stiff or bobble or different tortillas do different things, um, you'll know when it's done because it start, they'll start to brown. And here's what they look like. Ta-da! Here comes my favorite part, y'all. It's taste testing time. Let's see how this did. Oh my god. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh wow, you guys. So, so good. Okay. This is Algae Actress signing off. I would like to thank OshiGlows.com for this awesome recipe idea, if not a little bit modified by me. Um, and I'd like to thank the Broncos for making it to the Super Bowl. Go team!